Hey, everybody, I'm home. Dad! <laughs> Come here. Oh, God, it's so good to see so you. So glad you're back. <laughs> Bo's been crying ever since you left for your comedy tour. You've been crying for two months. I missed you, Dad. I missed him more. I missed him more. Ah, oh, boys, boys, we've all missed me. <laughs> hey, I got you some souvenirs from the Corn Palace in Mitchell, South Dakota. <laughs> A corn car? Awesome! Oh, this is for your dinosaur collection. A cornosaurus? How'd you know? <laughs> Dad, tell us about your road trip. I will tonight, buddy. We'll have family night. I'll tell you all my stories, and you can tell me all yours. I love Dad's stories. I love Dad's stories more. I love Dad's boys, stories Boys, boys, we all love Dad's stories. <laughs> Where's your mama? She's in the bedroom waiting for you. Daddy's home. Don't take your boots off, cowboy. You're gonna need the traction. Sorry I was late. My horse caught a glimpse of me while I was peeing. And he killed himself. Well, after I've welcomed you home, twice, we're having pot roast. Daddy's hungry. Great. Hey, Gerald, Bob. License and registration, please, and keep those hands where I can see them. I see what you're doing. You're showing off for your new deputy, huh? He's not my deputy. Dudley here is participating in the Tulsa Police Department's high school volunteer junior cadet program. I'm just doing it to get out of PE. Well, if you hate doing stuff, you're hanging out with the right guy. Dudley, take a mental snapshot of this man. He is a notorious repeat offender. Did he kill someone? No. Did he murder someone? Kill and murder are the same thing. Go sit in the cruiser. He's a keeper. You want to add verbal assault of a peace officer to your growing list of charges? Gerald Bob, cut me some slack. I've been driving straight through from Iowa. I'm just trying to get home to surprise my family a day early. Well, I don't know how the Iowans drive, <laughs> but here in OK, we respect the speed limit, OK? Dudley! <laughs> my bad. Just give me the ticket. Well. Someone's awful anxious to get home after deserting his family for two months, telling jokes in bars while your beautiful wife, Trina, sits home alone night after night watching TV in the living room till 10.30, sometimes 11. Once till 11.37. Gerald Bob, have you tried courting someone who was single and not behind a window? <laughs> Did you pre-write this? This whole pad's just for you. Welcome home. I'm okay. You taught him how to use a loudspeaker but not a shotgun? Damn it, Dudley, put that weapon down before you fire it off. Oh, it's good to be home. <laughs> I'm home.